The Cillin Industrial French, SIJ de Stigel, industrial furrow, is the former industrial backbone of Belgium. It runs across Wallonia, passing from Dower, the region of Borinage, in the west, to Verviers in the east, passing along the way through Mons, La Louvière center region, Charleroi Pays Noir, Namur, Hoy, and Liege. It follows a continuous stretch of valleys of the rivers Hain, Sambre, Meuse and Vestre, and has an area of roughly 1,000 square kilometres. The strip is also known as the Sambra and Meuse Valley, as those are the main rivers, or the Hain Sambra Meuse Vestre Valley, which includes two smaller rivers, French, Silin Sambra et Meuse or Silin Hain Sambra Meuse Vestre. It is also called the Dorsale Wallon, meaning Walloon industrial backbone. It is less defined by physical geography, and is more a description of human geography and resources. As heavy industry is no longer the prevailing feature of the Belgian economy, it is now more common to refer to the area as a former industrial belt. Around two thirds of the population of Wallonia lives in the area, over two million people. Its main stretch is sometimes called the Charleroi Liege Valley, which connects Charleroi and Liege. Some see it as a Walloon metropolis, although it is linear rather than multi directional sprawl. History The Cillin Industrial was the first fully industrialized area in continental Europe. Its industry brought much wealth to Belgium, and it was the economic core of the country. This continued until after World War II, when the importance of Belgian steel, coal and industry began to diminish. The region's economy shifted towards extraction of non-metallic raw materials such as glass and soda, which lasted until the 1970s. The days of prosperity were gone, however, and a trend of unemployment and partial economic dependence on the formerly poorer Flemish region began, and continues to this day. The region has seen numerous general strikes, some with social aims, some with political aims. In 1886, due to economic crisis, lowering of salaries and unemployment, in 1893, 1902 and 1913, as a struggle for universal suffrage. More strikes occurred in 1932 and 1936, with a strike in 1950 on the question of the return of Leopold III to the Belgian throne. The region was at the heart of the general strike of winter 1960–1961, which helped Wallonia to gain autonomy. It was also the site of the first dechristianization in Belgium, and the most ferocious opposition to Leopold III's return to the throne. Today The region is the base of the Belgian Francophone Socialist Party, Party Socialist in Wallonia. Some of the region qualifies for Objective 1 or Objective 2 status under the regional policy of the European Union because of its low GDP per capita. This is to encourage growth in the area. This is rare in Western Europe. See also Flemish Diamond, Flanders's loose equivalent Black Country, British equivalent in the Midlands of England around Birmingham. <laughs>